I want to tell you about a situation we had on July 4th of this year when we arrived at our condominium and opened the door and when we opened the door we were met with about three feet of water uh, that gushed out to what uh, we opened the door and as we came in we noticed that the electricity didn't work and all of the doors had fallen off the frames. The drywall had come off the wall. All of the pictures that were on the wall, because the drywall had buckled, were on the floor. Our, our hardwood floor had come up because of the water, and we had a real mess. And on top of that, we had the foul uh, stench of mold. We had yellow mold, we had green mold, and we had brown mold. And what had happened is, because of a pinhole that uh, was in the water softener line, and a spray of water, ever so small, over a period of months, inside a sealed home, had risen and risen and risen until it had reached the receptacles. And then when the water reached the receptacles, it triggered the breakers. And when the electrical breakers were triggered, the air conditioner went off. So what we had is 100 or so degrees of heat, water, and no ventilation, and no air conditioning. Ideal conditions for mold. And what we had is we had mold on the ceiling, we had mold on the appliances, we had mold inside the appliances. Uh, needless, we had mold in the drawers. Everything that we owned in the house had mold. It was a complete and total loss. What we did was, we'd never worked with ServPro before, and we saw the advertisement in the yellow pages, and we called ServPro at about 5.30 in the morning, and it didn't phase them a bit that we had called at 5.30. And we said, we have mold, we have a flood, we don't know what to do. They were on, on the scene in an hour and a half with a dumpster, with a uh, has, hazardous material uh, removal team, a mold removal team, uh, with everything that we needed. Uh, needless to say, it was a wonderful experience. The Surf Pro people had what they had to do is they had to remove the cabinets, they had to remove all of the appliances, they had to remove all of the drywall down to the concrete block which formed the, the basis of the house. They had to remove all the hardwood floor and we had to replace all of this. Well, we weren't contractors so we didn't know uh, what we were in for as far as where we were going to find new appliances, where we were going to find a new hardwood floor, uh, what we were going to do with all of this moldy clothing that we had. SurfPro handled it from A to Z. Their people were just fabulous when it came to assisting us with everything from the disposal of the items to acquiring new items to the installation to working with contractors and most importantly working with our insurance company. And because we had a sublimit for mold and we had a limit on our insurance for water damage, uh, SurfPro was able to work with us to make it as economical as possible. So we were able to, to maximize the, uh, the coverage that we had by appliances so they were uh, as good or better as what we had, what we lost, and uh, were able to get that within the insurance coverage limit. And when they were finished, it's like it never happened. And you look around the house today, and what you see is just you know, a beautiful result, uh, thanks to ServPro and all of the, the, the fine work that they did. ServPro's motto is, like it never happened. In my situation, after it happened, after everything was said and done, after our house was uh, repaired, it was better than before the event happened. Uh, the people at ServPro were truly uh, remarkable in their ability to find 
qualified contractors with state-of-the-art state uh, equipment. The materials were, uh, were great uh, quality materials. And uh, it was, you know, as you can see from the house, uh, it, it, we're just very happy with, with what Surf Pro did for us. Thank you, Surf Pro. You know, there were a lot of contractors that we could have called, but when we opened the phone book and we saw that Surf Pro had been in business 30 years, we knew that Surf Pro was active in the community, that uh, the Surf Pro employees were active in the community, that they participated in Chamber of Commerce events, that uh, they had, had donated to various causes. Uh, it was great to do business with a company that reinvested back into our community. Uh, it's the difference between working with a family-owned company such as Surf Pro and working with a large general contractor that really doesn't care about the community, it's all about money. Surf Pro was interested in us because they're a family company, they knew what we were going through, what our family was going through, uh, and I really appreciate Surf Pro and all that they do in our community.